Is responding to neighbors who are outraged over the repaving along Governor's Drive. They say people are cutting through Park Hill Drive to avoid the backup. The homeowners say that they've got stuck in traffic for hours and in some cases can't even park in their very own driveways. Way 31's Ashley Carter has the message from the city and what they are doing to calm people's nerves. When speaking with the city today, they told me they are aware of the complaints and exploring better ways to deal with the traffic and reminding drivers to accommodate for the time before heading out the door. We're really asking people and trying to remind folks, maybe leave a little early, maybe get with your employer and see if maybe you can come in a little late. Police Captain Kim Brooks says he knows frustrations are mounting as the state repaves Governor's Drive. It's a main alternate route for thousands of drivers as the city works on Cecil Ashburn Drive. Jay Jones lives in Hampton Cove and travels the route often. He says he doesn't think anyone anticipated how much congestion there would be. There are alternate routes that folks can, can find to make their drive time quicker. Uh, they'll do that. Jones says he understands the complaints from Park Hill neighbors, but says everyone is going to have to deal with the growing pains. Thoroughfares or ins and outs, ingresses and egresses along the way that makes it shorter. Uh, folks will naturally take them. Uh, that's just what's going to have to happen and be until the work is completed. Tension came to a boil Tuesday night when a series of crashes on Governor's Drive caused Park Hill to look more like a parking lot. The response from Huntsville Police? Just adjust your schedule so that all that traffic is not occurring at one time. The city told me they will be increasing police presence to prevent accidents. In Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News.